So in order to have audio reactive scenes on your live stream, you're going to want to download a software called Wallpaper Engine. You can get it on Steam for relatively cheap. And basically what this program allows you to do is it allows you to have live animated wallpapers on your desktop. It runs in the background at low CPU usage and it's completely customizable. I'll leave a link in the description. Once you've downloaded Wallpaper Engine, you're going to want to hide all of the icons on your desktop. To do that, right click anywhere and then go down to View and go over and down to Show Desktop Icons. You're just going to click that and it will hide all of the icons on your screen. Once that's done, you can open up Wallpaper Engine by clicking on the desktop tray icon and clicking Change Wallpaper. This is how you can access Wallpaper Engine at ease. These are all the ones that I've installed, but you can go into the workshop and add ones that you like. In order to have the audio responsive uh, feature work, you're going to want to go to settings and then go to general. And then you're going to want to select your audio output device, the, the device that Wallpaper Engine will listen to in order to capture the sound. Click on whatever that is for you and then click OK. You can minimize Wallpaper Engine and then you can play a song from Spotify or wherever you like to listen to music and it will start to react to the music. Now that we've got this set up, let's take a look at how we can set this up into OBS. You're going to want to open up OBS, and you're going to want to create a display capture source. You can see I've already done that here, but just go down to the plus sign on sources, click the plus sign, go up to display capture, and add a new display capture. Make sure it's selected to the display you want to capture and make sure that capture cursor is actually turned off. What this prevents you from accidentally rolling over onto the screen during your starting soon screen and people will see the cursor by mistake. I'm going to leave it on just for the sake of explanation but make sure that this is off before continuing. Click OK. And now what you're going to do is you're going to want to hide the taskbar. The way to do that is to just expand the screen a little bit. You can do that by coming over here and just expanding it all the way until the taskbar is hidden. So now whenever I move OBS out of the way, you can now see that the taskbar is no longer visible on the display capture. And that's essentially it. What you can do from here is just let your creativity flow and customize your starting screen, starting soon screen however you'd like. You can add text to show starting soon. You can add a timer. You can add animations however you'd like to do it. But just whenever you're playing your music during your starting soon screen, the Wallpaper will react to the music that's playing. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for future videos. I'll try and put out more interesting things like this in the future. Other than that, thanks for watching and happy streaming.